Do you know how to turn the OpenAI SDK into SDE and how AI can plan and execute the development tasks step by step for you? So in this video, I'm explaining you all of this. Hi guys, welcome to Freebird's View and let's create our 13th AI agent using OpenAI Agent SDK Toolkit that works as SDE for you. Plan the whole task with step by step and provide code for each step as well with explanation. You can create your whole project using it. Isn't this amazing? Right? So here is the short demo of the project. As you see, when I provide the agent task, it quickly start planning and given all the task as drop down for which you can generate the code and review it as well based on your requirement. So let's build this project. First of all, let me tell you about OpenAI Agents SDK. That is a platform that empowers businesses to create custom AI agents tailored for the specific needs. And this development is poised over the revolutionize the deployment of autonomous AI systems across various industries. It has core components that is called agents that works as an AI workforce. It has the handoff so that multiple agents can delegate their task as well. It has guardrails that ensure the safe and the reliable operations, not any uh, misleading words or like misleading operations as well. You can install it by using pip install openai-agents in the python command prompt. Okay, and you can also read my full blog on medium as I will put my blog link in the uh, description that will give you a better understanding on how the OpenAI agents SDK works internally. Okay, so now let's get all the prerequisites of this project. Get them all and listen and learn carefully. First, you should know about the AI agents. What are they? How they work? What are the agentic design patterns? You have to watch my these two videos of AI agents to get yourself familiar with the AI agent workflows and designs. When all of this is done, Let's create our 13th AI agent that can be your developer buddy as well. Oh guys, so here is the code of the AI agent SDE by using the OpenAI agents SDK. So first we import the asyncule library. That library is used because we don't, don't want to create any deadlock or waiting for the task. So that's why we will run our uh, OpenAI SDK agent with the help of asyncule library or async operations as well. Then we need the streamlet to build the an app and then we have the OpenAI that will load the async OpenAI function that will create our AI agents as well. We have the runner, web tools and every library that we need in this project that is right there. Okay, so first we will set up our OpenAI client that is with the help of async OpenAI that will run every agent in by using the asynchronous programming. Okay, then we have to set our default request that is chat com uh, completions and then we set our OpenAI client, we set the tracing to be disabled. You can make it enabled and you can track all of your requests on the OpenAI platform as well. Okay, then we build our models that by using these models, it can uh, give us the result as well. So these are just like the output of the AI agent models. Okay, the coding plan should be in this format. The problem, the subtask and the text tag along with the code output should be the file name, code and the explanation as well. So only in this format, our AI agent will return the uh, outputs or responses as well. Okay, then we have to build our first planning agent. Okay, that will do what? It will a software planner that will get the requirement, uh, break it into in components and then identify key feature and, and then generate the whole response in the JSON form in this kind of format that we need that is called as coding plan. Okay, and we already give it our model that is called GPT-40 modelizer and give up the open A client that we already created above. Okay, and then we create our code regen that will generate the code for us. Okay, it use the code out output model here and by using the same kind of format, it gives the result in this format as well by using the model GPT-40. Okay, then we have the reviewer agent because then you uh, generate the code. You want to review it that it is good or bad, it is correct or not. You can uh, use this AI agent there that will review the code, suggest improvements, optimizations or warnings as well that also use the same GPT-4 model. You, you can use any other model like Gamma, Gemini, Flash kind of models here as well. Okay, then let's build our OpenAI Streamlit UI. First, we set the title pages and we set the session stage as well when there is an input when we give a problem statement to it and press the plan and build button it will start generating the plan as you see we are building a async function here that will run our planner agent by using the problem input that we do and it can uh, return that as a uh, streamlit output on the screen as well 
okay we run it with the help of async your run okay and then we can show our whole plan right down here and when we select any kind of task here as well and uh, generate and just click on the generate code for task button it will then call the coder agent to generate the code for that task with the uh, complete explanation as well and it will run on the same way as we run our planner agent as well and then we have to do for the review agent code that will review the code and when we click on the review code it will review the code ge generated by the above agent and then can see and can give uh, give you the like uh, uh, suggestions optimization techniques anything like that as well it will it will just give you all the reviews uh, just below your code as well okay so that's how this whole code is there and now let's run it and see how it works in the real time as, as you just see that i already run the template tab it is running in my local host just see okay so here it is and when i just uh, put a problem statement here okay problem statement is create a simple crude app to manage the list of books using node.js express and mongodb you should allow you to add review update the books with field like this implement the restful api endpoints all kind of things are there you can also build the front end as well all task is there and let's just try to plan and build when you click click on the plan and build it start, started planning the whole task breaking into the components in sub task and task as well and you see it right there have all the plan that these are the sub tasks that we have to do these are the text stacks that we have to use and first is the set up the node.js environment install it configure design book memo schema everything is right there so let's just create the code for the first task generate code and when we click on generate code it will generate the code only for that particular selected task as well okay as you see here it first generate the setup.sh file that has all the requirements to install the node.js into our system with folder creation along with the uh, installation of the in, uh, important packages like mongodb mongodb connections everything is right down there with the html code as well right down there as well now if i just uh, go for next task that is design book schema with field like this and click on generate task it will generate the code for this particular uh, sub task as well okay so here is the code in the javascript language as you just see it generate the book schema code as well with all the things like we need the code explanation as well now if you click on the review code it will review the above generated code and can give, give you the better uh, suggestions better improvements to do on the on the above code as well you just see it added the validations there it it shows for the default values indexing virtuals every kind of things it will give uh, give you that you can use this to uh, generate your code again and you can get a more optimized and best code for your project as well okay so i think like you understand that how this sd coding agent will work it can take the task from you and can generate the sub task and, and then you can generate the code for each sub task as well okay guys and in our next video we'll talk about the google adk that is google agent development kit and we'll see how it works and what ex exactly it is and how it is different from the open ai agents sdk as well and we can also build a two projects on the same by using the google adk as well oh okay, guys and if you want to know more about the generative ai prompt engineering data science and feeling you can watch my videos on youtube and also read my blogs on medium we'll meet in the next video thank you guys thank you so much